All right, so here is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Cardio Kane Velazquez. Nobody is better equipped to talk about this man and all that he brings to the table than UBC. Just a fantastic mixed martial artist. From the first time I saw Kane at the American Kickboxing Academy, I understood that I was no longer just looking at a wrestler, but a true fighter. Kane had an ability to push and train at a level that not even the welterweights could keep up with. Just a workhorse in the highest sense of the word. A guy that was willing to lay it all out on the line. Some of the performances that this man has had truly allows him to be considered one of the greatest heavyweight fighters of all time. And he puts that status on the line every time he makes the walk, including tonight. Good to see Kane Velazquez back. Kane Velazquez. He has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. to a visual you thought you may never see Muhammad Ali taking his act to the octagon. And a lot of people out there betting on this man think he's going to realize success here tonight. Well, why would you not expect it, right? The guy has done everything he has ever said he was going to do. From becoming an Olympic gold medalist, to becoming the heavyweight world champion, to becoming the greatest boxer the world has ever seen. This guy is a fearless competitor. He has tremendous hand speed unbelievable footwork, but it won't be those gifts that allow him to find success in the UFC. He's going to have to mix everything up. Sort of felt like he had exhausted the boxing world. Felt like this was the next professional challenge. Perhaps a case of be careful what you wish for. Muhammad Ali gracing the octagon here tonight. The greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali, set to fight Kane Velasquez. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Third man in the octagon for this one. All right, we are back in the tri-state area tonight. Deep wide New York, New Jersey, inside the Prudential Center. The Devils are not here. The UFC athletes are here and hoping for some more UFC history inside these walls tonight, champ. From the 76ers to the Devils, you understand the fans in this area know sport. So you better be ready to give them a show tonight or they're going to boo you out of the building. Velazquez gets lit up by that straight punch. I mean, over and over, he's taking these strikes to the head. Nice straight right legs. And there's another straight, it's there by Ali. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> Rips the body there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those cut. Takedown defense holds up. Look at the investment that this young man is making to the body with those strikes. Just misses with the straight right. Velazquez going for the takedown here. Nothing to do Trying to pass here. Ooh, 
but gets denied. Guillotine attempt now looks as though he's got the neck. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Massive shot from the top. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Oh, hammer fist here by Velasquez. Come on, 60, Under a minute now to go. Velasquez going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes, mixing it up pretty well here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Attempting a choke now. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. This arm triangle's looking pretty tight. He's got it locked in. He's got to clear the guard, drop his chest, and get the finish. Oh, working for the submission again. They're both struggling so much to get out of this position. Oh, oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about oh. this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. Yeah, man, you see two high-level grapplers going after it. One guy gets an advantage. The other guy always has a response. We thought it was over. A lesser opponent Ready, would have been submitted, Ready. but these two are two of the best grapplers in the entire UFC. Round two underway. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Velasquez is swelling out around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. The knees to the body starting to pile up. That's good work. Velasquez gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Oh, big elbow. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Velasquez has got him in a crucifix now, going to go to work from the top. South position now. Two minutes now to go in round two. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Oh, the ground and pound is there. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Let's fight, come on. Put your hands up higher, come on. He missed with that damage. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. It's not like that. You don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's going to be, I mean, he's going to be. As he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh! Big right hand there. 
30 seconds to go in round two. 20 seconds to go round two. to my left, UFC President Dana White. I think he's making out the bonus check right now. Incredible back and forth action. Sign the check, boss. These two <laughs> young men deserve 50,000. Hell, let's give them each 100,000 for the performance that they just put on in one round. Both were hurt. Both were able to withstand the punishment, and I can't wait until the next round gets started. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to Ready try to fight? change the way Ready. that this fight is going. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecard's going to be needed for this one. No, the scorecard will not be needed. If we continue this fight as we did in the previous round, somebody is going to score. Velazquez's hook to the body appeared to be blocked by the defense. Tough to take down, no problem. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. over three minutes to go in round three. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. It's a heck of a strike to land from bottom position. Lands with the ground and pound. Another ground and pound strike lands. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling. Expending. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Velasquez. Now he's going full mount. Oh, well, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. And now he's got the back. Velasquez is in half guard. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Ten seconds to go in the round. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush, go back out into the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. 
All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test a fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the ops. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, hook to the head by Ali. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. He doesn't need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenue to land the shot. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, he takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come now. But what he has to do here is just try to stay relaxed. Big explosive actions, panicky actions, are what gets you submitted a lot of times. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Gotta be careful here. Right back to the full mount here. Great ground and pound by this man. Another ground and pound strike lands. This is where he wants to be. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Under a minute to go. And the ground strike's starting to pile up. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cottonelle will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. Ready fight. Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Velasquez gets caught by that straight punch. You got to do better than that defensively. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Lands a nice punch from his back. Oh, right into Mount. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Velasquez. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through.
Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's in half guard. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Nice positional control. Oh, An elbow. Oh, oh, oh. Under a minute now to go in the fight. He's having his way with him here. Oh, Setting up a submission. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Gives up on the submission now. We'll see where it goes from here. That was a slick transition. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see. What a fight! 25 minutes turned in. All right, well, as expected, nothing easy about it. The fight goes the full 25-minute distance. Could be looking at a split decision here, Daniel. A very close fight. I mean, this is uncomfortable. I've sat there before walking yeah. to the middle of the octagon in a title fight as the champion, not knowing if I had done enough to win. This is a nervous feeling, but I believe the champ did just enough to keep the belt. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner, by split decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of...